People today hunger for peace. They yearn for it. They search for it. But in a fallen and broken world, peace seems nowhere to be found. You won't find peace on the streets of America's big cities where violence has become commonplace. You won't find peace on college campuses where the free exchange of ideas has been replaced by angry attempts to silence people whose beliefs may be different. You certainly won't find peace in places like Syria or Iraq where the air is filled with the smoke from bombed buildings and explosions in crowded marketplaces. And even though the presidential campaign is over and the election has been held, you won't see the political clashes suddenly coming to a halt. We long for peace, but that peace is something that just never seems to come. It seems impossible to find, except, except for one place the true and lasting peace is not only found, but is guaranteed. Oh, it's not the kind of peace that means the end of war or the end of arguments between family members or the end of violence in the streets. It's a much more important peace than that. It's the peace that comes when sinners, like us, hear the beautiful message that our sins have been paid for, that our guilt has been removed, that all the things in us, in our thoughts and words and actions that were warring and fighting against God have been completely and totally resolved. It's the peace that was proclaimed in Bethlehem on the night of Jesus' birth. There the angel announced that the Savior had been born, a Savior who would live and who would die and who would rise again to bring peace to sinners like you and me. That's why we celebrate Christmas again this year. That's why our songs of praise will fill the air. That's why we gather in congregations to hear that message preached and proclaimed. That's why we gather as families to celebrate true peace, lasting peace is ours. The greatest gift that any sinner could ever hope for. The God of all peace, keeping his promises to send the Prince of Peace for us and for the world. So look around you. Don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. Because even though you live in a world in which peace seems far away, you have a far more important kind of peace, not only at Christmas time, but throughout the year. May God bless you with his peace as you gather once again around the manger to thank him and to sing his praises.